It's been a whole lot of hula baloo with cash in my country in Nigeria. This is one African country that, if you didn't know, is the largest population of black people in one spot and Africa's biggest economy yet. In the last two months or thereabouts, Nigeria has been under siege of cash. Well, if you don't know Nigeria, Nigeria is in West Africa, in Africa, and is blessed with a lot of natural resources, including high quality minerals such as gold and a lot. Google Nigeria and find out the rest. But this is how blessed that we are. But Nigeria has been having its fair share of leadership challenges and tussles. And we just got out of a very controversial, unconclusive presidential election. And just prior to that, we had a major, or we have been having a major cash crisis. It first started with a redesign of our currency, some of the currencies, and then the deadline for the use of that currency was coming, which is our 1,000 Naira notes, 500 Naira notes, and 200 Naira notes. They were to expire the first time, but before then, there was no issuance of the new Naira notes. It became a very big anxiety all over. The date came, it was postponed till a later date, and yet very scanty amount of new notes were available. Before you know what's happening, we had all gone to deposit our bank notes in the, our old bank notes in the bank, and there was no new notes to withdraw. Then people who handle point of sale machines became the biggest gainers. And that brings me to the topic I want to say. If you're in fintech, you know, ATM card manufacturer, point of sale machine manufacturer or distributor or salesman, of course, internet data companies and all of those, you have been in business irrespective of all the crisis that we have been going through. It got to a very feverish condition where for you to be able to go to a POS um, to withdraw a thousand naira, you have to pay 1,400. And that's still happening as I speak. 1,400. So you we started buying naira against naira. Naira started <coughs> improving upon itself and it became a huge concern. It made a lot of people even think, oh, is the world coming to an end? You know what I mean? Now, my key treatise in this video is to let you see how that no matter the challenges, there is always certain people who will be the biggest gainers. Think tech companies had their fair share of issues because there was downtime, it was so bad, there was no currency to withdraw, no new notes, no old notes. Of course, it had all gone into the bank. POS uh, operators were hounding the banks. It became a sort of tussle. People have to cry, go naked, asking for money because they couldn't feed. It became a really big issue. Those who could get cash started selling it up to that amount that I told you. It got to a point where to assess certain things, foodstuff became very, 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 very impossible. And that flagged up a lot of issues that the people who became the biggest losers are the people who are petty traders who have never bothered to have a bank account, very surprisingly, and those who had bank account but never had POS machines and never had ATM cards. It became a very tough battle. We have been in this for weeks. And in the midst of all this lockdown kind of situation, we went to vote in an election and the will of the people were not adhered to. Now, looking at the finance part of this, those who manufacture fintech equipment like POS, ATM card, we are the biggest gainers. Top most of them from the area where I'm talking from is, is a company called Money Point. I think I need to give them kudos at this point. Money Point became the only POS machine that could even process payments at all because bank apps were failing, bank ATM cards were failing. It has been such torturous situations. I remember the situation in Kenya a few years back where Kenya had the mobile phone revolution, you know, 
coupled with fintech where they had mobile phones that you know you can transact business with and it came to my mind that Nigeria can adopt this. I remember the so much love that Kenyans, Ghanaians, other countries, Cameroonians, Tanzanians, they were reaching out to us in love, trying to let us know what we can do for our cash situation and especially our presidential elections issues. It was so hard for me to know, right? Then recently, the Silicon Valley Bank crashed due to a bank run i mean how does almost everybody go to get want to get their money out of the bank at the same time remember banks don't function that way banks take our money and then invest it you know because hopefully we, nobody does that you can't go deposit your money and everybody goes back to collect all their money at the same time but it happened for the first time probably in banking history all of this will be happening around cash and my treaties in this video is to let you know that money is a big deal if you're nigerian african it's time to go totally digital i think we should start with educating our petty traders the mindset of depositing their money in the bank and doing digital transactions so that they don't get to a point where they can't sell some days ago because i didn't have cash and i had to start and we have been buying store food stops and groceries from people who have upgraded to having pos machines for payments i couldn't still buy things like fresh tomatoes fresh pepper fresh um, ginger and all of those and especially fruits these are the demographic of people who don't have any form of banking facility and i had to ask the woman at a point who was selling odara and i said oh my god i should have bought this and I should buy this every day because I buy it every day, but I don't have cash, but I need that. And the woman was like, I understand. An old woman, she was so sweet. And she gave me about six of them, which is which would have cost me about a hundred and fifty naira. But she gave it to me for free. That's how much we became um, conditioned in our shared humanity as Nigerians going through a cash crunch. And I think it's time we educated traders petty traders, everyone to upgrade. I think it's also time to begin to provide the facilities at a lower cost. Things like the POS machine, we need to provide it at a lower cost. If not, some of these people can't even afford them. It's also time for banks to also encourage people to open more bank accounts. I think that's natural even. And mostly, make sure that whatever you do, if you're a business owner and you're in this condition, that you upgrade accordingly and make sure that the banks that you're using, which is the cross of this matter, is insured. Because what happened, what happened with SVB Bank can happen to any bank. I started wondering whether cash was so much in demand everywhere and there was a cash crunch everywhere in the world that that was why Nigeria was hit like that. But I know that ours is a bit political because just a few days ago, just yesterday, the Central Bank of Nigeria had said we can continue to use the banknotes after almost eight or seven weeks of torture, serious torture. So what I want to say is make sure that any bank you're using is insured by the Nigeria Deposit Insurance Commission, NDIC. And if you're in the US, it's called the FDIC because they can insure and pay back any bank defaults and here and there up to the tune of I think 250 million, thereabouts. So whatever you do, make sure that you don't leave money in the bank without ensuring that that bank is secured by the NDIC, FDIC. Until I come here away again with tips about how to make money, make sure that no matter what happens, you are compliant, you have your bank app running, you have your ATM card to withdraw, you understand where to buy your raw products, raw materials, things that you need from people who also have digital devices and ensure that you're saving your money or you're investing in institutions that are insured. Okay? All right. So see you in my next video.